first superset for upper body day. We have a bench press and an incline dumbbell row. For the bench press, you want to make sure that you have a spotter, super important here, okay? Hands want to be about shoulder width or slightly wider, whatever's more comfortable for you. All right, spotter will help you bring it off. One, two, three. Nice and steady. You want to come all the way down to actually touch your body and then power straight up. Control down, power straight up. dumbbell row. You want this incline bench at a 45 degree angle or very close to it. You're going to kneel on it. You actually want to kneel on it. You're going to kneel on the bench. Put your body weight all into it. All right. You're going to bring these dumbbells up to the sides. Control the top. Full extension on the way down. Quick up. Control on the way down. You're pulling from the middle of the back here. And again, it's very powerful as you go upwards, but very under control as you descend. Incline dumbbell row. Second superset in our upper body day is going to be a single kettlebell overhead press and a kneeling neutral grip pull down. For the kettlebell overhead press, you take a hold of it where it feels comfortable, just press straight up overhead, make sure you get full extension, down under control, press straight up overhead. So the up is powerful, the eccentric are coming down is nice and steady and under control. Okay, this is paired with a kneeling neutral grip pull down. You're gonna find any cable machine. You want a neutral grip bar, something where your hands can face each other. If you're taller like Colleen is, you want to be further away. If you're a little bit shorter, you can be a little bit closer. But you never want that weight stack to actually touch as you extend fully. She's gonna bring that down and into her collarbone. Kind of pause for a second and then come full extension up, right? It's nice and quick as she comes down and it's under control and steady as she descends back up. Good. Third superset for our upper body day is going to be a single arm flat dumbbell bench press paired with the single arm leaning dumbbell row. For the flat dumbbell bench press, we have one hand, the other hand just rests, you don't want it to grasp on anything, you're just going to press up quickly, down nice and easy under control. Keep your arm tight to your side as you lower this dumbbell. Use as much power as you can to press it up, but make sure you stay under control as you descend. Okay? Good job. We're going to pair this with a leaning dumbbell row. Find any steady bench. You're going to lean all of your body weight against it. Wide stance. All right, you want that back to be pretty flat. She's going to row that up under control, okay? Nice and quick and powerful as she comes up and under control as she descends. A lot of extra core work here. You want to make sure that you stay flat and that you don't tilt at all as you do this. All right, our last superset for upper body is going to pair a single arm dumbbell push press. This is a power exercise. We want to start in an athletic position and we also want to land it in an athletic position. So you'll start with hips back, She's pushing up straight and fast, but also landing in that hips back, back athletic position. All right, going up is powerful, coming down is nice and easy. All right? Don't be afraid to take a little bit of time in between each rep to get yourself reset if necessary. Okay, again, the power coming up and the landing in the hips back athletic position are the two most important things with that exercise. Good job. We're gonna pair this with a straight arm cable push down. Right, again, any cable machine will work. She's using the left arm, so she's going to put the opposite or the right foot in front. Her core is nice and tight and controlled. She's going to come down with a straight arm past her leg. Controlled up. Colleen, take a step back. That actually is pretty good because we don't want that stack to be able to touch each other. You want to keep the pressure on the whole time. All right, so nice and high under control, and then quick down past the leg. Core control here full range of motion. All right, so those are all of our exercises for both days. All right, thank you guys very much for demonstrating. A couple things to keep in mind, okay? Form is of the utmost importance. Keeping things under control while you're doing the work is really important so that you don't get hurt and so that you get the best benefit out of each exercise. All right, something else to remember, if there's an exercise that we did on these two days, that you don't have the equipment for, the room for, or just isn't available to you, make sure that you get in contact with the coaches 
so that we can give you a substitution to do. All right, there's a wide range of substitutions that we can do for each of the exercises that we did, but it's important that you do get that movement pattern in. So please let us know if you do need a substitute exercise. All right, being consistent with this over the summer for the next eight to 10 weeks is going to be extremely important for you. All right, thanks a lot.